Hey everybody, welcome to another review. If I sound a little bit weird, or uh, if you hear me hacking and coughing, it's because I've been sick for the last, gee, I don't know, almost a week. So I'm still getting over it. Um, I still got a while to go. So today, I'm going to try to do two reviews. I'm going to try to keep them nice and short. I'm kind of tired. So the first one is the new Immunet 3.0. Um, apparently what they did in this one is they have an option now if, where you get offline protection by using the CLAM AV signatures. In my opinion, they're not the greatest signatures, but I guess it's better than nothing. So uh, I installed it, and it's there's nothing, you know, like if you click update now, it says everything's up to date. So um, you can see settings here, definitions allow updates I guess it's updated automatically I suspect um, and that's really all the settings for it I haven't touched any settings it's stock just like it normally shows up so let's do some testing I have I don't know 10 links here fairly new Hold on here one second. Okay. No, I think this one is a unwanted application, if I remember right. So you can see imminent analyzing things here whenever it does the little laser beam or whatever you want to call that. Now it's installing a toolbar, which maybe that's how uh, it's getting that unwanted application. Okay, and it looks like something was quarantined there. Helpman.exe was quarantined. And for some odd reason, Internet Explorer was closed too. No, I didn't close it. And a Trojan was also quarantined. Okay, it looks like that was quarantined. If I click run, nothing should happen. Okay, and that one was quarantined. And I don't understand why it shows you the same thing three times. That's awfully weird.
Okay, looks like it quarantined that. Or at least it found it. That one might not be working. This one is though. Okay, it says that one was quarantined. Okay, nothing came up from that one. And looks like a rogue. Yep, installed just fine. So once again, uh, AmyNet seems to suffer from what they all suffer from, a, a zero day protection. Let's keep going. Okay, and it says it found that one. So now, let me open up a minute here, and I will do a scan. Okay, it's turned on. The scans are basically, you know, what I can do in the free version. So I'm going to do a scan now. I'm going to do a full scan. And let's wait until it's done. I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, after waiting for 2 hours and 11 minutes and the scan still not finished, I'm just going to stop the scan. It looks like it found one thing and it hasn't found anything else and I'm not going to uh, wait for it to finish because it's getting real old real fast. So. It did quarantine that threat that it found. When it found it, it popped up a little thing and it said, uh, quarantined. So let's check it out, see if it's, it should be in there. There it is. That's the one that it said it found. It found it in this program files. And, uh, it was a clam dot trojan dot agent signature. So now I'm going to reboot. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that because there's no point in rebooting three or four times. What I am going to do is to make the scanning go faster is <clears throat> I'm going to open up Immunet here, turn off its real-time protection because it'll just speed everything up. Open up Cleaning Essentials, and then um, I'll tell it to do a full scan, and then of course, you know, it's going to want me to reboot, so I'm going to reboot, and when it does it automatically, and I'm going to let it do a full scan. This thing sh should be done much, much faster than um, Immunet. So let me pause the video here and I will be back with the results of uh, the cleaning essentials scan okay so um, cleaning essentials scan didn't find anything so I'm gonna reboot like it always wants you to do <clears throat> and then I am going to do a scan with malware bytes so I'll be back with a result for malware bytes See you in a second. Okay, so Malwarebytes scanned and found two things. Let's see what I found. Looks like it found a couple of files here. Something to do with that uh, rogue security shield. One is a link. So that's no big deal. And this is some kind of executable. 
but it's not starting up because it's not it's not anywhere if it was starting up you'd actually probably see it floating around here somewhere so it's not it's it's there but it's not there so it's just kinda sitting on the hard drive not doing anything but we'll remove both of them and seeing as they're not active I'm not gonna reboot and I might as well just do a scan with Hitman Pro here see if it finds anything else and then uh, I'll do my uh, quick little conclusion so I'll see you in a second okay so Hitman Pro didn't find anything that's good to see so final conclusions here um, well it is an improvement over the first Immunet mainly because now you don't have to pay to get the extra signatures offline signatures as they're called the, it, it's still got some problems that I saw one it's you saw a rogue snuck by so it's zero day isn't that great it doesn't offer any protection that doesn't need the internet up so if I had lost my internet all I would have to protect me is the clam AV signatures and then that's not saying much because they've never been very great you know they've never had a real real good detection ratio and then just relying on signatures is kind of a really a bad way now originally Immunet was made to run alongside another antivirus and then that it made sense now they're trying to apparently from what I can see is the plus version and this version they're trying to make it more of a single product where you don't have to have another antivirus or whatnot to run alongside of it what it does need to do is it definitely needs to improve its scanning speed by at least tenfold this computer's got nothing on it just what I downloaded and Immunet and two hours later it still wasn't done scanning that's just a shame that's a big big shame it should have been done scanning in 20 minutes at the most um, memory usage isn't bad um, especially if you don't have the main window open it's not I mean well okay now it's it's high it used to be a lot lower but when I first installed it it was a lot lower I don't know why it popped up so high but it they could always memory usage can always be improved for any program that's just a, a problem a little pesky thing that I have of mine some of you who've watched my reviews um, what else I mean it did okay in this test it let one thing slip by but it the the clam signatures did catch that one file that one executable that for that rogue that would start up and then it killed it so it didn't start up anymore so that's nice um, I just don't ever really see this product being as popular as they would want it to be it's missing some things it's you know it's missing a firewall if they want it to become a full type of security suite they'll need some kind of firewall and they'll need something for zero day security maybe a behavior blocker or some kind of hips add-on to it or something uh, like that to really offset it but then there you know they're gonna have to work on figuring out do you want it to be really talkative or do you want it to be silent and decent it, it's a real you know game that you have to play in the security field so that's it really it, it didn't do too bad it they definitely have some places to improve but it seems like they're slowly but surely getting where I would hope they want to be someday, you know, um, with one of the free cloud scanning, you know, one of the top, hopefully in the top five um, free cloud scanning utilities. Maybe sometime they'll work with another AV vendor to integrate their signatures. So, I mean, I understand Clam. I know why they did it, because it's free and it's open source, but they definitely could work with other vendors to integrate their signatures into their utility and you know maybe they could partner with somebody we'll see so hope you guys enjoyed this review and I don't know if I have time to do another one I'll have to see I'll uh, talk to everybody later take care have a good night